Hey you guys, so I'm back today. I'm making my own homemade uh, guacamole dip. Um, so yeah, while I'm doing that, I'll let you guys watch. And um, I have this crazy story to tell y'all. So we're going to do a story time today. Um, just before I start though, all my veggies that I get out, we like to bag them at the store and leave them open. So when I come home, I can rinse them off and then put them back in the refrigerator refrigerator um separated still so don't get on me in the comments about washing my veggies i always wash my veggies anyways so you guys last night the craziest shit happened right it is two o'clock in the morning um hubby and i decided to sleep in the living room because the baby for some reason gets really stuffy in her bedroom so we're asleep on the couch and i'm sitting there watching youtube watching mukbangs obviously um the kids are upstairs in their own rooms all three girls have their own separate rooms so they're all sleeping in their rooms avery is on her ipad so i hear this pow 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 but it sounds like hollow almost like it doesn't sound like a knock at the door because your door is really thick right but you know your garage door is a little it, it has that like echo type of sound so I'm like I jump up and I'm telling my husband somebody is at the door or somebody is banging on the door but it sounds like the garage he gets up he looks outside um looks outside the people at the front door nobody's at the door I've grabbed the baby already getting ready to take off upstairs um and so I'm like, what the hell is it? So I'm like, no, it sounds like it's from the garage. So he's so tired, like just out of it, you guys, delusional. And I'm like, hey, I'm going to need you to snap out of it because something's going on. So he got ready to check the garage, to open a garage door, which is the door right in front of our living room. I'm like, no, 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 no. Just forget about it. So he lays back down. I go upstairs. I lay the baby back down, right? I go upstairs. Let me go just peep in on my kids i do nightly checks faithfully around this time every night between two and three i check all the cameras all the girls have cameras on them at night because they're all upstairs and we're downstairs and i try to save myself time you know from having to go up there so i went in there and checked all the rooms um everybody sleep everybody's good i look out of the the window in the playroom um just for visuals if you look at like my uh, a video of me like my daily routine or something like that you can see the window I'm talking about upstairs in the playroom so I'm looking out the window you guys and I see police cars everywhere across the street so from my upstairs I could see across the street where there's a big gas station right there's police everywhere there's a vehicle with a door open facing all the police cars and i'm like what the hell is going on so all the the vehicles the doors open nobody's in the car at all so the freaking suspect that was in the car must have fired shots or the police fired shots at him one or the other and he took off on foot so i go back downstairs and i'm just trying to make sure all my doors are locked because it's literally right next to us. I'm making sure the doors are locked, the back doors, the window, everything, y'all, because I don't have time. Then I go back upstairs and I'm just looking around. I look up and there's like 15 plus police officers walking through my neighborhood uh, with freaking rifles. And so the neighborhood that we're in, it's a new build. So all of the houses are brand new. They just put put the houses up in this area right here and I'm just like what the fuck is going on I know damn well I haven't moved these children to no hot spot <laughs> so I'm just literally appalled I'm like what is going on they're walking through the neighborhood with little literal rifles then I look up a helicopter is just circling circling over us constantly and there's a big old field right next to uh our home and they're circling over the field trying to find whoever this person is 
my bad y'all i didn't click the button and cut the voice over off so damn it i forgot what I, where i was so anyways so they're circling uh the helicopter's circling the police are like walking through the neighborhood so me i go downstairs because i'm like okay they're walking through the neighborhood it wouldn't be smart for me to just walk outside because it's dark as hell and they don't know uh people are just popping up out of nowhere and they're armed and all that so I didn't want to like alarm them so I turned on my light my porch light and then I saw my neighbor actually walked outside so I'm like okay let me go out now while she's walking out so I can see what's going on too and then you just see everybody's lights on in their houses and garages come up doors open and all that because now everybody's like what the hell is going on so we're talking to the police and my neighbor says that she actually saw the guy take off running. He ran through her backyard, you guys, and her, we share a fence. So I don't know if he just hopped backyards or if he hopped a couple backyards and tried to like lay low in one in somebody's backyard for a little bit. But I was literally just sorry, the baby's crying. I was literally shook because what? So she says she saw him hop over her backyard. And so we share a fence. So I don't know where he went, anything like that. But I'm glad that I did make sure that all the doors and stuff like that was locked. Um, one thing I will say, when we used to live in Aubrey, which is the outskirts of Dallas, the neighborhood was so amazing. Like we knew every single person on our street. When we first got there, we got into we went into a new build home as well. We were renting and there almost all of the houses were still being built on our street. And so as everyone began to move in, we were able to meet everybody um, and everyone had kids and everything. So I will say we did spend many nights where we may forget to put our garage down or we didn't lock the front door um, and we never had any like fear or any reason to believe that anybody would like break into our house or anything. It wasn't safe, wasn't smart at all, but um, it just tells you a lot about the area that we were in in the neighborhood. Now, this where this neighborhood that we're in now, like I said, it's brand new. Everyone's new, but there also are older houses that are further down from us um you can tell that they're trying to build up this this area and kind of push people out um which sucks but you know so anyways where the hell was i where was i what was i talking about oh yeah so we went outside so she said the neighbor the guy ran through and um i'm literally shook so i go back in the house and y'all it was two o'clock when this first happened when i go back in the house it was maybe an hour later i hear gunshots again you guys and i have no idea like where it's coming from or if they found the guy or anything like that um so i moved everybody upstairs um my husband stayed downstairs but I moved like the baby upstairs because I feel like it's always an advantage if you're up on higher ground if someone were to come into your home um it's always better if you're up higher than they are rather than trying to um run from downstairs to upstairs in that moment so I just wanted to be safe but I didn't get any sleep at all you guys none um, I was literally just staring out the blinds the whole night trying to figure out what they were doing. They had put caution tape around the entire gas station, like the gas pumps and all that, from behind the person's car that uh, was driving around all the pumps. And the car had been there. I don't know. I, I assume at some point I got tired and just laid down and said, I'll find out in the morning. Um, but it wasn't until around like five o'clock that I even laid down and went to sleep. And this all started at like two. So I'm like, I don't know if they came and towed the car or what happened. But for the longest, like the police were just riding through the neighborhood with like their white lights on uh, where they could clearly see everything. And it was just a real scary moment because whoever it was, or I don't even know if it was one person or two people, if they took off running separately or together, they could have been hiding under people's cars. It was just a lot going on, a lot going through my head. 
super crazy and then a lot of the houses around here are still being built so they had police officers even looking in the um look don't come interrupt my voice over they had police officers even looking through the empty <laughs> They had them looking through the houses that were still. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. They had them looking through the houses that were still being built. So I don't know if they found them again, but it was just a crazy night. Um, but yeah, so that's the end of my story. Anyway. I sleep like day day. <laughs> Why you ain't do no one fat bitch jumped on me? Anyways, y'all, so this dip was really good. Look at my baby. She's getting so juicy. She'll be two months old soon. Anyways, bye.